Tonight, the suspect in a string of shootings on I-40 and elsewhere is in jail without bond. In the last few hours, for the first time, we heard some of the terrifying 911 calls from victims. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. One of those callers lives in this home that was hit by bullets while she was at home working. WRO's Carly Haynes spoke to her tonight about those terrifying moments, and she joins us live. Carly? Gerald, people were driving along this road right here off of I-40 when they were randomly hit by bullets. And surrounding this area, just minutes from here, are four homes that were also hit. Bullet holes in bedrooms. A map shows the path of 12 shootings throughout this week. 911 calls bring us to each scary moment. You said you were driving on the highway and something hit your leg? Yeah, I don't even know how it happened. I'm driving. It's my legs are really bloody. That's for my 40 on Monday. Raleigh police think the suspect shot a woman from a car heading the other direction. Then there were the shots into homes with people inside. I work from home, so I was just in a meeting, and then I heard, like, um, like a big explosion, and but then I'm, like, seeing a hole through, so I'm not even, I didn't even really realize what happened. Marker is right by the window, and the woman who made that 911 call tells us that she was sitting in this chair right here when that bullet came whizzing over her head. I was just like, I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know if they're shooting some more. So I went to my bedroom and I called the police from there. It came through here. Julia Bagua came out through there. Details the path the bullet took, which missed her by inches. A photo shows what investigators found, the same type of bullet used in all of the other shootings. I was afraid that there were more. Um, that was my main concern. The week of random violence still terrorizes the people who faced it. Other details that we were gathering from those 911 calls, some people recalled seeing a car next to them, other people couldn't recall seeing anything, and they told police they had no idea where that shot came from. Carly Haynes, WRL News, Levin Raleigh.